Hello and welcome to the Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys for another video and up we have now are the player ratings for Girona against Barcelona which of course finished 3-0. I've done my match review and now it's on to the player ratings for this match and I said of a match review it wasn't the best performance ever it really wasn't you know the control wasn't always there we didn't always pass the ball well I think that our best defenders on the day to be honest were in the defensive third you know the likes of Roberto Ter Stegen I'm going to have those ratings coming up for you very very shortly but I thought we didn't play especially well what I'm also going to be doing in today's ratings video is also rating Ernesto Valverde a good idea that was given to me by quite a few people in the comments so that's going to be included in today's rating and let's kick off straight away with Ter Stegen. And I'm going to come in here with an 8.5 rating for Ter Stegen. And people might think that's a bit high, but I think tonight he was absolutely outstanding. You know, I think a few times he had to make a number of big saves, particularly in that first half. He made a save fantastically down to his right-hand side. He had to get down really low. And I felt a number of times during the game, I said it on Twitter, he's really like a wall. You know, they fire the ball at him and it just bounces off him. He's got really strong arms. He makes himself big. He really does dominate that goal keeping area and last season Ter Stegen was outstanding a really really good season his best in a Barcelona shirt this season has the potential to be even better than that you know he really does shield our goal he's dependable use that use there when you need him and tonight at times when we were up against it when chances went against us from corners as well he was commanding and I think once again Ter Stegen very very solid really protected his clean sheet tonight and at the end of the game he thoroughly thoroughly deserved that clean sheet because his saves were good he was commanding and he played really really well in today's game up next will be my other man of the match Sergi Roberto I'm going to give him a very very solid 8.5 out of 10 the same as Ter Stegen I thought tonight Sergi Roberto when you consider that right back is not his preferred position it's not a position that he's particularly comfortable in I thought he was excellent not only defensively but going forward as well you know we, we looked at his assist for Luis Suarez's goal a fantastic ball over the top great weight on it great pass great vision and I thought Roberto tonight in his all round role was really really solid and I did worry about it before the game and that's not because of the player he is I don't doubt his quality whatsoever but of course that's not his position it's really really hard for me to see him put there because he's got so much ability so much talent and he really does deserve to be pitting his wits in that midfield area but tonight as a right back he played well he made good tackles he made vital headers at times and he really really did fill in well for Nelson Semedo in the end it worked out from Valverde Roberto at right back did him very very proud and a very solid 8.5 rating tonight for the very, very solid Sergio Roberto. Now we move on to the centre-backs. I'm going to go on first to Mascherano. Both of the centre-backs I've given personally the same rating. So 7.5 for Javier Mascherano tonight. I thought he was solid. I thought he was good in the tackle. He's always dependable. And he could be a very, very important player for us, us this season. Because, you know, you think of PK, his performance right now isn't quite where it needs to be. His form isn't quite there. But Mascherano has come in both against Abar and tonight. And he's been very, very good. I think in his tackling, he's strong. In his positioning, he's good. He's still got that element of pace if he needs it you know he's getting on now but he's not lost that pace at all he's not lost that drive that energy you saw him at times tonight making those last ditch challenges that he's always known for a few times he went down after them he looked like he'd hurt but he's always battling away isn't he? he's an absolute warrior he gives you absolutely everything on the pitch and you can always guarantee that from Mascherano never doubt his commitment and I thought tonight very very solid indeed 7.5 rating very much welcomed and it'll be very interesting to see if he starts against Sporting Lisbon. He's played well in this game. He's played well against Abar. Will Valverde bring Piquet back in against Sporting in the Champions League or will Mascherano stay where he is because he's really earned that? And as I say, I'm giving both the centre-backs the same mark. I thought at times, you know, we conceded chances, but most of them are not down to Umtiti or Mascherano. Both of them were good tonight. Umtiti is always showing his strength. There was a few nice passes from him as well out of the back. You know, he brings the ball out, doesn't he? And he always looks to play the ball forward. He's so, so positive in that manner. And once again tonight, Umtiti shows showing his strength, his physicality, his ability in terms of his defensive awareness and always that pace about him as well. He's so, so good as a defender. I like him every single game I see him. I see something good. I see something promising. Once again tonight, there was absolutely no difference. Very good alongside Mascherano. They grew into the game together. They started to understand each other more and more as the game went on. 7.5 for both of them. Both of them, good performances tonight. 
Now on to Jordi Alba, who I'm going to give a pretty round 7 out of 10. I thought tonight he wasn't as active down that left-hand side, and that's probably because he wasn't really allowed to. You know, he had to deal with the dangers of Hirona on the break. You know, they came forward a lot down that right-hand side. Alba defensively had to be switched on, and for the majority, he certainly was. He also played a big part in the first goal as well, of course. The ball coming in, he volleyed it towards goal. It wasn't on target. That's why it goes down as an own goal, even though Alba was quite energetically crying to claim it. A goal would have been a big thing for him. They do not come around very often for Jordi Alba but once again tonight pretty solid from Alba going defensively going back the other way he was pretty decent he had a bit of cover there at times and Titi always likes to help him out he comes across from the left centre back to help out Alba and I think both of them together on that side are very positive they like to move the ball forward they've got a good understanding and I thought tonight Alba didn't do a lot wrong 7 out of 10 warrants a decent display wasn't as active going forward but overall he was pretty good 7 out of 10 now on to Ivan Rakitic, who to be fair to him played in a slightly unfamiliar role for him. He played in more defensive midfield, a bit deeper, you know, we had to come with Busquets and we don't really have a natural replacement for Sergio Busquets and Sergi Sampa was loaned out this summer. So Rakitic had to come into that role. It wasn't that familiar for him at times. He was receiving the balls in areas where he wouldn't usually be getting them. So I can understand the difficulty that it would have been. On the whole, though, he was pretty decent. I don't think he did anything spectacular. He looked a lot better when Busquets come on and he was able to move into his natural centre midfield role where he was allowed to roam a bit freely, you know, he didn't have too much defensive responsibility, but right in front of the two centre-backs, Rakitic had to do a lot of running tonight, he had to cover of course because Paulinho at times went forward Iniesta as well, they were quite far apart the midfield, all of them, so Rakitic had work to do tonight, he wasn't spectacular like I say, but on the whole he did things he passed the ball, he was quite tidy with it he didn't give the ball away too much, but he also wasn't too adventurous in his passing either so I'm going to go with a solid 7 out of 10 tonight for Rakitic, not an awful lot wrong not the familiar role for him either, so I'm going to let him off on that part. Better when Busquets came on and when he was moved into his natural role in the centre of midfield just off to the right ahead of Sergio Busquets. And now we move on to Paulinho in the midfield. And it's quite difficult when you're marking Paulinho because it's exactly where you're marking him on. You know, what position he's supposed to be taking up because that's the issue, really. If you're marking him on a midfielder, which, to be honest, that was the way it was set up in the formation. You had Rakitic a bit deeper. You had Iniesta off to the left. And then you had Paulinho a bit more on the right-hand side of midfield. And it was difficult, really, to sort of mark him tonight because a lot of the time he did spend it, like in the A-bar game, a lot more advanced. And, of course, that gives us another outlook. You know, it distracts the defenders a few times times he was very close to getting on the end of things particularly in the air you know there was crosses coming into the box there was a lot of long balls going in his direction and from a corner in the first half as well he had a free header and he was very very close to scoring there as well so he is a goal threat he is somebody that's going to go forward and cause the opposition problems but when he's going forward from that midfield position of course when he's going forward he is leaving that space in midfield somebody should be there to sort of cover for him if he is supposed to be a midfielder he is probably too advanced at times particularly against opponents who are going to pick you off they're going to counter attack and a few times Girona did counter attack they had a bit of space in midfield and they exploited that so I'm going to go overall with a 6.5 rating for Paulinho I'm not going to say that he did an awful lot wrong he didn't make many mistakes he didn't do anything terrible in the game but I just think we need to work out where his best position is and where we can deploy him where it doesn't sort of impact us in midfield and negatively defensively because in midfield again today we did lack that control when he went off of Busquets we did have a bit more of the ball in midfield it was a bit more clean and tidy so I think we just need to work out where exactly we can use Paulinho and the way we can use Paulinho to really bring out those important positive points going forward when he is a threat on goal when he can be a threat you know in the box and in and around the area in that sort of false nine false ten role and it's going to be interesting to see if Valverde can really find that formula to bring the best out of him but also to make sure that it doesn't negatively impact the team as a whole as well so that's going to be interesting and something that Valverde has to work on but tonight for me Paulinho didn't quite have the same effect as he did against Abar in the final third and in midfield he did leave us a little bit short so 6.5 out of 10 for Paulinho, but not an awful lot wrong for him tonight, specifically. Now on to Iniesta in midfield, the other side of Paulinho, and once again, I didn't feel we sort of had that domination in midfield, we didn't really have that possession to allow Iniesta to show his magical self, he was substituted in the second half. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Like Paulinho, I don't think he did an awful lot wrong tonight, I think Iniesta had a few more passes, you know, he had a few more little moments in that midfield, which did help us as a team. Defensively as well, Iniesta, I think his game is quite underrated, you know, a few times he came back, he made tackles, he made important interceptions defensively, and I think his game has really developed in that way over the years, particularly 
particularly under Luis Enrique, his defensive game has been strengthened quite a lot in that time. Iniesta, though, important for him to start the game. I think he should have probably had a rest, to be perfectly honest with you, but I think his experience is always important in the lineup. Tonight, he played a part. He went off. He got a bit of rest ahead of Sporting. And as always, when we've got more of the ball in midfield, when we've got more possession and more control, we see the very, very best of players like Busquets and players like Iniesta. Tonight, it wasn't always there, but as always, he gives his best. And all those touches, all those dribbles, they all mean something. And he's always a fantastic player to watch, no matter what. 7 out of 10 for Iniesta. Now on to Alex Vidal, who did play in a more advanced role in that right wing position, just like we did when he came on against Abar in our last match. He got an assist that day, and he basically got an assist tonight as well. He was a big part of that goal, that second goal. He got to the byline, a nice back heel flick into the path of Suarez, but of course in the process it came off Irizos, the goalkeeper, and went down as an own goal. Ultimately, though, I think Vidal at times is a bit wasteful tonight. He got into good positions. You've got to say he's a lot like Delafeu. You know, he's so good, he's so fast, he works very, very hard. But when he gets to that final third, when he's going to make that big decision he can often get it wrong and that's what needs work and possibly that will come with experience he's not always been used to playing in that wing role for us so maybe he needs a bit of time to adapt to that but I thought tonight he gave his all he understood his position a lot you know he worked very very hard for the team not only going forward but he helped Roberto as well going back that was important to have the two players on that right side who have both played at right back in their careers so they could help each other out you know they understand where they need to be in terms of defensively as well to structure themselves in the right way so I think Vidal was overall pretty decent I'm going to give a 6.5 though I think his decision making at times lets him down he's got so much potential in that final third you know he can keep his width he can get in behind he's got the pace to do it but when he gets there much like Delafeu at times it is the wrong decision and that's what lets him down and that's what he desperately needs to work on so I'm going to go tonight for a 6.5 out of 10 rating for Alex Vidal now for Lionel Messi, I'm going to give a rather modest 7 out of 10. That doesn't usually happen for Lionel Messi, but then I wouldn't say that he's necessarily bad. I just don't think he would have had the impact that he would have possibly liked to have. He was in that false nine again, but I think the midfield impacts that. I think a lot of the time you saw him tonight dropping deep, dropping in, trying to get the ball, and that does happen because the midfield aren't quite doing their job. We're not quite getting control of the ball, giving it to Lionel Messi in the areas that he would want. So he's having to drop deep himself to come and get the ball. And that can impact his display because then he's not in that false nine role so near the area that he can make that vital difference he still played some very key passes though he still went close from a free kick he's always a threat no matter what he had a young man from Man City 20 years old Pablo Maffeo man marking him all game and Girona manager after the game said that was exactly the intention his plan was to take Messi out of the game and then have nine players against nine outfield it didn't work out though of course because when you man mark Messi of course you take a player away from everybody else so even though Messi was quite quiet today he still would have had an impact because the likes of Suarez Vidal Paulinho they all would have had more space in the final third to do their thing and create their goals and that's exactly what happened Messi tonight wasn't at his magical best he didn't manage to score but of course he gives us all he still had some magical moments and 7 out of 10 tonight for Lionel Messi now for the goal scorer, Luis Suarez, who I'm going to go with 6.5 out of 10. A lot of people might think that's generous, but I just really want to see this man back at his very best. And that third goal highlights exactly what we love about Suarez, what we've seen so far. It was his 100th game tonight. There was something like 80-odd goals, and he's been incredible since he's been with us. He really, really has. And tonight we saw evidence of him coming back to his good times. In the first half, he was poor. His first touch was bad. It let him down. He had a few chances in front of goal. He didn't really put any of them away, not even close. And in that second half as well, at times, he was quite lazy he kept getting caught offside there was one occasion though where he scored he was flagged offside but he was actually onside so Suarez very unlucky on that occasion but he did get his goal a fantastic assist from Sergio Roberto over the top brilliant first touch from Suarez and a fantastically clinical finish that's what we want to see from him that's the Suarez that we all know and love and I just really really hope we can get that back because we need him we need him in our front line we need him scoring goals and we need him being effective in front of goal the way that we all know he can so 6.5 tonight from Suarez it's probably a bit generous, but he did get his goal. He played a part in the second, and hopefully we can see the very best of Suarez coming up later this season. And the final player that I'm going to rate tonight would be Sergio Busquets. He came on in the 67th minute, so he had time to make an impact in the game. I don't feel Danny Suarez or Andre Gomez had sufficient time to sort of get themselves in the game and make an impact. But I thought Busquets came on 20-odd minutes to go for Paulinho. He gave us more control in midfield. He really did have some nice touches when he came on. He had link-ups with Iniesta, and I just thought everything calmed down when he came on. We had a lot more 
control. We sort of, you know, we started balancing our attacks. We look more balanced as a team. And I think Busquets, when he comes on, he just runs the show. I love watching him. I love what he gives to the team. He's really irreplaceable. You know, you really do notice when you take him out of the team. Much like when you put him back in it, we be we become an all-round better, well well-drilled machine. And I think tonight he was very very good. Eight out of ten for Busquets. Even though he played twenty odd minutes, his influence is there for all to see. He has so much quality, and he is so so vital to what we do as an entire team. Everything goes through him, and he's a massive massive cog in our team the way it works. And as promised, finally, I am going to rate Ernesto Valverde this evening, and I'm going to give him a 7.5 rating out of 10. And despite the win, the reasoning for that is I think tonight was a big gamble. Luckily for us, it's paid off. Luckily for the team, we got the three points, and that's the most important thing. Valverde deserves credit for this incredible start of the season that we've been having. But I just think tonight was a gamble to rest Semedo, to rest Busquets. I think those two players are so, so key to what we're doing. And to have Roberto at right back, where he's not familiar, and then to have Rakitic as well in that defensive midfield position, where he's also so not that familiar and then to have Paulinho alongside him who will go forward a lot more and possibly leave us a little bit light in midfield and Rakic has got to deal with that in a position that he's not that well known in and also Roberto on that right side I just think it was a bit of a gamble it could have easily gone the other way tonight luckily we got that own goal we had two own goals in the game which helped us out considerably I don't think the performance was great tonight and I think Valverde's got away with one here it could have gone worse but the good thing for us is we got some players rested the likes of Semedo and Busquets had most of a rest tonight Iniesta was able to get as well so we've got the players rested ready for sporting on Wednesday night but I hope then we can see a better performance that's what I'd like to see from Valverde pick your team set your team out get your formation sorted and show the fans in on Wednesday night that we can play well and we can win at the same time but tonight for Valverde 7.5 out of 10 like I said massive credit for him for our start of the season you can't complain about that we've got the points on the board like we did once again tonight we got the points we're top of the league and long may that continue leave your ratings down below as always guys it's been a pleasure tonight i'll have more videos coming up for you on the channel very very shortly indeed thank you very much for joining me on this saturday evening where we once again celebrated a barcelona victory besca yeah barca, barca.